Hey guys, welcome back to Grounded, and I gotta say, let's talk about this first, the water cooler. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, is this an endgame product that I personally can make eventually? Because this thing is absolutely amazing. So obviously, right when you sleep throughout the night, your food, your water gets completely depleted. You can actually go ahead and drink this to build up your water stat again, and it's crazy. It seems to never run out, and... If this is something you can have by the end of the game, that would be absolutely amazing, honestly. But anyways, guys, welcome back to Ground. I'm really excited to be back in this game, and let's get started. So, first episode, we went ahead and did the tutorial pretty much. We're here at the Oak Lab. That's where we ended up the last episode. Today, we are going to focus on base location. Now, where is that going to be exactly? I'm going to be honest, I'm not really sure. I think I might want to put a base location kind of near the bath scale. I talked about it in the last episode that the bath scale is kind of our centralized point, right? We know where it is at all times. Obviously, we have the three lasers pointing at it. Gives us an idea of where we can consider a central hub. Now, again, it is a starter base location and everything like that. So I'm not expecting to build this huge, huge monstrosity base or anything. It's really just couple of things to get us started and quickly progress and then of course we can move on to another location and then another location another location what have you but uh we're gonna head over to that area we're basically just gonna put down a campfire we're gonna put down probably a workbench and maybe probably that's it for now if i'm gonna be honest maybe a little bit of storage too but nothing too too crazy because again we'll build up this area and everything that we're planning on building in right now but we're not going to do too, too much with it either, because I do want to actually have different bases in different locations to kind of show the progression of where we started and ultimately where we end up and everything. So there's a couple of places to build near this little bathroom uh, scale thing, just to give you an idea. But the place that I really like to build, I'm going to be honest, is right here. And basically this Park, little rock. Yonder lady of the Clover Forest, on what errand does the day find you? I love that the characters interact and talk about stuff going on around them, but at the same time, it annoys the shit out of me sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, but I like building here. A couple of reasons is when we put a campfire up, if we put some food on there, it will attract ants, it will attract other bugs and stuff, and if it's up here, there's a very good chance they can't get to it, so that's something really good, because they will actually go ahead and eat right off of the campfire, so you can potentially lose some stuff, so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna go ahead and put in a roasting spit first and we'll kind of angle it yeah, like that perfect another thing that i really like about this game is the fact that you can kind of do these blueprints get your whole base set up the way that you want it and then put the supplies in and see does this work does it not do we need to adjust anything and of course uh we can go ahead and cancel we can cancel nah you know what i want to put the campfire here instead you know what i mean so it's cool I like this concept uh, that you can kind of just constantly interchange before putting down the final product. Once you put the final product down, though, you can go ahead and move it, which is really cool, too. But all right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put down this workbench thing. And I got to figure out what's a good spot for this workbench to hang out and maybe right here. Yeah. You know what? This kind of works. Yeah. Right there might be. Is that a rock that I can pick up? It is. Okay. Let's put the workbench down first, because that's obviously going to be the biggest thing. Let's go ahead and put you down. Let's also put a little bit of storage down. Now, personally, I like to put the storage right underneath. I know it's kind of silly, but at the same time, it kind of ends up working out pretty well. I'm not going to lie, but let's also go ahead and put down what? There's a list. It tells you exactly what you need. That's so cool. I've never noticed that before. Okay. So we're going to put the lean to kind of in this corner, maybe like right there. Yeah, look at that. It keeps adding to the list. Like, OK, here's your shopping list. That's so cool. Oh, my gosh. And then we're going to put you here. Yeah. So kind of like what we just had set up before, <laughs> but that's fine. OK, so dried grass chunk. We can go ahead and do this. And I do want to set this as my respawn point, just in case if we do die, we don't end up over by the uh, the other place. Basically, we can go ahead and put this down in the meantime. And then for this, we need some sprig. We need some grass planks and we also need some dry grass. OK, so 
Let's go on a little bit of a hunt here. Oh, perfect. One, two. Oh, our third one's going to be all the way down here, isn't it? We also need a little bit of food. Do we have any kind of food on us? We have the acorn bits. I don't know if I've scanned them in yet. And personally, if they're not scanned in, I don't want to eat them yet. So let's go check that now. Where's that gry? Where's that gry? Nice. I was going to say, where's that grass plank that I threw down? Ah, must have went away. It's kind of weird. Because why would these have not went away? Strange. Anyways. Let's see. Okay, so we've already scanned it. Okay, sweet. So we'll go ahead and scan these at least while we're here. Alright. And we'll scan you. Cool. All right, everything's scanned in our system. Let's go ahead. Let's get these planks back. Let's also... I'm really surprised at that freaking... I really don't want to take down a whole blade of grass. You know, but it is what it is. You know what? We're going to get this aphid. Let's see if this works. There we go. Sweet. We'll get you. That'll be a little bit of a food source for us scan you. We're going to get access to the aphid slippers, I believe, when doing this. Yep, aphid slippers. And that can actually increase your movement speed, which is really cool. Uh, more focused on the food aspect right now, as opposed to get over here, buddy. Aphids. Nope. Nature's lollipops. Alright. Went up that way. Unfortunately, it's going to fall there. You're stuck. Perfect. And if I hit you... Yeah, that's the... Oh. No, 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 get back here. <laughs> nope. All right, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Son of a bitch. I hate that they blend in so well. <laughs> I hear it. Oh, I see you. You're over there. Okay. There we go. Sweet. All right. We'll at least cook one of these. Oh, we have the gnat. Yeah, get over here, buddy. Come on, gnat. Come on. Oh. There we go. Come on. Sweet. Gimme. I heard that other aphid. Where'd it go? Okay, it's up there. You. I don't know where it went. I hear it. Oh, it's right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I think that's more than enough food. Let's get some food going because our food is really low right now. Uh, of course, what are we going to need for the food? Dry grass. Oh, my God. That was the whole reason why we needed that. Okay, let's go right here. Now, one thing I do want to mention, too, is uh, I'm actually recording this right after episode one, so I don't actually have the answer or anything from you guys yet, which is if I take out the stalks, not only the blade, but the stalk also, will that prevent anything from spawning in there in the future? But if I keep the stalk, I assume uh, I'll be able to... Stuff will basically be able to spawn back in. Let me know if I'm correct or not in the comments. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cook these three up. We also need some sprigs and we also need some grass planks. So I think we are going to take down a tree over here along with some sprigs. Let's get you guys. One, two, three. Which that'll cover. Nope, I need one more. I don't want to venture too far either because I know these ants are going to try to get up here. I don't know if they're going to be successful or not. But they're at least going to try. All right, there we go. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and have a little bit of food here. One. Chewy, but that's going to really increase everything back up. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so you. Grass planks. Let's just knock. Ooh, if I can get this. I want to see if I can possibly get up here just for that water. No water Perfect. filtration tablets cool. needed. Yeah. 
All right, let's cut you down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we can only hold five. Good to know. And there we go, workbench is done. Sweet, we can chuck these. We don't necessarily need them right this second. Let's go ahead and see what we can make here. So uh, let's start out with all this stuff. So Peblet Spear is already made. Spiky, spiky Sprig, not going to make that, honestly. That's totally fine. Peblet Hammer, we already have, we already have. We do need an Acorn Shovel, and in order to do that, we need two Sprig. That's relatively easy. One, two, let's make you. Shovel, got it. Bow, we need rope and we need sprig. Rope we can make. Sprig, easy to come by. One. Two. Just kidding. Three. There we go. All right, bow is now made. Now, in order to make another torch, we do need two more sprigs. Oh my God. We just need sprigs for everything, don't we? All right, one and two. Let's go ahead. Let's make another torch while we're at it. There we go. All right, what else can we make? Now, going into this, we can make a total of five. Let's go ahead and make five of those just to have them. Uh, we're not gonna bother with this stuff just yet. But looking at armor, we can make a few things here, it looks like. So we can make the aphid slippers, which I think we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to increase our speed here. Uh, we also have access. Again, we need sprig, but we have access to the clover shin guards, clover poncho, and clover hood, which one of those gets us 250 points. I think it's the clover hood. So let's go ahead. Let's get some clover. Let's also get some more sprigs. And we're going to go ahead and make the full set of armor here. So, one, two, come on. Yeah. All right, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17. We'll take you. I think that's more than enough, but we'll chop down these. Why not? 18, 19, 20. 20 should be enough. Uh, let's get some sprigs along the way here, because it seems like we're just running out of those relatively quickly. Uh, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eh, ten. 11. That's good enough for now. We can grab a few more on the way. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the ASL here and see. So it's the poncho that we need specifically. That's going to get us 250 points. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's see if we can get that done here. Grab a few things too. Any more sprigs in the area? No. All right. Let's head back to base. Let's see if we can make our first set of armor. I saw some sprigs. Boom, boom. Cool. And boom. All right, so we can go ahead and make the clover hood. We can go ahead and make the clover poncho. And we can also make the clover shin guards. Now, the reason why I decided to make all three is because you get a nice buff, it seems like when you have all the pieces of armor on for an entire set. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So we're going to put this safe. on first, and that's going to give safe us the side fur. effect of fuller and light armor. It's going to give us 2.5 resistance on the hood. Now, when we put the poncho on, that's going to give us an additional 5% resistance. It's also going to give us two times in the fuller buff, which means stay fuller longer. Now, once we apply the last one, you'll see at the bottom, we actually get another little indicator there 
Uh, obviously, again, fuller, light armor, 2.5 resistance. But we also get this guy, which means moist. We're squishy and we, we retain water well. So having the whole clover set on helps prevent dehydration and also keeps you fuller longer. Now, if we decided to switch out with the aphid slippers, you could see that goes away right away and instead gets changed over to quickness. So you get to run faster, essentially. So there is a reason why you want to build your sets and everything like that. And it doesn't seem like... You won't get the buff or anything if you mix and match the sets. So you want to go with a set and stick with that specific set, if that makes sense. Because, of course, you want the extra buff. Like, why not? And, of course, there's different buffs with each different piece of armor and everything like that. But I do like the aphid slippers, especially for adventuring. But for the most time, we're going to basically wear the entire set of armor just to kind of get that buff. But... Looking over the rest of the stuff here, there's nothing else that we can really make too much of. Uh, that being said, actually, you know what? Let's make a ton of these. We can make that. We do have access to the canteen, which I don't think we're going to really be able to get to in this one. Uh, let's see what else. Is there anything specific? I would love to start making arrows. Maybe we'll cover that in the next one. Maybe we can get the canteen done. That's going to be relatively close. What time is it? 1720. Okay. Uh, we can get that done, actually. Where is the... Ooh, you know what? We should probably work on our hot bar real quick here, because things are a little awry, a little all over the place. Let's go ahead and unassign the slot, unassign, 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 unassign all these, and then we'll rebuild ourselves. So, I always like to do the hammer first. The axe is going to be number two. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now, because it is equipped. Uh, three is going to be the spear. Four is going to be the shovel. Uh, once we have the... Oh, we do have the bow. So four is going to be the bow. Five is going to be the shovel. Six will be the torch. Seven will be food. And eight... I don't know what I usually use for eight. Oh, eight is bandages. That's what I do. Eight is bandages. There we go. So essentially, everybody has their own way that they like to have their sets and everything. But... There we go. That's my set specifically. So where is the axe? Whoops. There we go. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to quickly do is, if we can, let's see if we can get a grub. Why not? Let's see if we can get a couple of those guys. It'll give us a little bit of food, but at the same time, uh, will give us the hide, which we could go ahead and make the canteen, which is, again, is going to help a lot with adventuring and stuff like that. Now, I mentioned this spot in the last episode. This is where we're going to come to. If you guys see those little little things in the ground basically there we're gonna go ahead and just use the shovel pick them up it's a grub it's easy to kill there we go and we're gonna get access to the hide the sludge and the meat so you get some really good stuff from these guys uh let's see if we have any more yep there we go gonna grab as much of this as i can two Three. Four. Just looking around and seeing if there's any more. I don't see any more, but that's actually pretty good. Before it hits nightfall, let's quickly run over to the terminal. Or the field station, rather. And let's scan these things in. And these are going to give us access to, I think, the grub armor. Uh, the sludge. I don't know what the sludge actually gives you, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, man. Now, just a heads up, too, especially since we're done with the tutorial at this point. Obviously, in the top left-hand corner, they do give you kind of a list of things you should be doing. It kind of is a bit of a little helpful guide, right? Now, you don't have to go by that. You can pretty much do anything at this point. You can kind of roam whatever you want to do. You can do whichever labs you want to do. Personally, I'm going to probably do them in order, so we're going to go for the hedge lab first. That's going to be in due time, of course. Uh, let's go ahead, get a new level, and that's going to give us access to the weevil shield. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and unlock this, and that should give us the stuffed grub and the grub mount. Cool. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, you can do them in any order and stuff like that, too. Uh, we do have access to only the two left. The Clover Poncho. Why did it still show up as the Clover Poncho? Should be completed. Complete. Okay, so it's already done. Sweet. Okay. Let's head back because it is getting late here, guys. And even though this is a starter area, there is a very good chance that wolf spiders will come into this area at night. I don't know why. It's kind of funny, this being a starter area. Yeah, you can get access to the probably the most difficult creature in the early part of the game. And we don't want to deal with that. So, guys... That is going to wrap up this episode. We did have a lot of progress in this one. Again, uh, episodes are going to be short, sweet, to the point. Again, it's we're just going to be doing this. Each episode is going to be a day, so it is going to run relatively short, but it allows me to get as much videos of this out to you guys. For this episode, we have our, our base location here. We ended up getting ourselves some armor. We ended up getting ourselves uh, some more weapons, stuff like that. We're kind of slowly but surely building up our character, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button on top of that. If you guys are enjoying the grounded content, you're excited to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. But guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.